Meanwhile, President Obama going to Kansas today to argue that Republicans are not doing enough to help average Americans. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has a preview of the president's speech. And good morning to you, Bill. And good morning to you, Rebecca. The president is going to Osawatomie, Kansas. It's a town of less than 5,000. And he's going because that's where former President Teddy Roosevelt made a famous speech more than a century ago, a speech that put him at odds with his fellow Republicans because it was a call for economic fairness, not unlike the president's own argument for taxing millionaires to extend the payroll tax cuts. How can you fight tooth and nail to protect high-end tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans and yet barely lift a finger to prevent taxes going up for 160 million Americans who really need the help? It doesn't make sense. Teddy Roosevelt was also calling for a more equal society 101 years ago in the age of the rubber barons. When I say that I am for the square deal, said Roosevelt, I mean not merely that I stand for fair play under the present rules of the game, but that I stand for having those rules changed so as to work for a more substantial equality of opportunity. Presidential historian Douglas Brinkley says that's why Mr. Obama chose the same small town in Kansas to frame his message. He's trying to paint the Republicans as sort of being anti-American, of being Grinch-like, of being misers. Um, and this is timed here with the holiday season, with the, um, the need for some um, you know, tax breaks for the middle class. He's got to reclaim the great American center right now. And the figure who speaks for the center is Theodore Roosevelt. As the president continues to pressure Congress, the White House unveiled a countdown clock on Monday, ticking away the days until the payroll tax cut expires at year's end. For weeks, President Obama has relentlessly slammed Republicans for their unwillingness to increase taxes on the very wealthy to pay for extending that tax cut. So, my message to Congress is this. Keep your word to the American people and don't raise taxes on them right now. Now's not the time to slam on the brakes. Now's the time to step on the gas. Now, Kansas is a red state, of course. No Democrat has won there since 64. But the point is that the president's goal is to paint himself as the populist candidate, a champion of the middle class. Chris, Rebecca. CBS's Bill Plant at the White House. Thanks, Bill.